quotes, orders remand of hashtag revolution now convener, Shore, co-defendants in DSS custody. In business, NNPC shall to evaluate 35,000 PPD OML 25 damage. And on the foreign scene, Hong Kong beefs up security ahead of National Day. Hello there and many thanks for joining us on Super Screens Flagship News. Broadcasting to you live from Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. I am Adinke Owoye Ajiboye. And all the news and details. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has ordered the remand of the convener of Ashtag a Revolution Now protest, Omoyele Shore, and his co defendant, Olawale Bakare, in the custody of the Department of State Security Service, DSS, pending the hearing of the bill application. The presiding judge, Justice Ijoma Ojuku, fixed Friday for the bail application hearing. The report. <laughs> Following the arraignment of convener of hashtag revolution now protest Omoyele Shoure and his co-defendant Olawale Bakari on seven counts of treasonable felony and other sundry offenses instituted against them by the federal government at the Federal High Court in Abuja, the defendants pleaded not guilty to the seven counts when read to them. After the defendants took their pleas, the defense lawyer Adeyinka Olumide Fushika, SAN, urge the court to allow Shoure to be allowed to continue with the bill earlier granted him by Justice Taiwo Taiwo on September 24. But the judge said since the bill earlier granted Shoure was not predicated on the charges on which he was arraigned on Monday, a fresh bill had to be granted to him. She further said that if she would have to grant them fresh bill, it will be based on formal written bill application and not oral. The application is to be served on the lead prosecuting counsel, Hassan Liban SAN, who indicated that he was going to oppose the application. Counsel to Shure, Olumide Fusika, had maintained that the arraignment should not be allowed to go on the grounds that the Department of State Services, DSS, which has been keeping him in custody since August 3, 2019, had not allowed the defendants to consult with their lawyer after the charges were filed. But the prosecution led by Hassan Liman, SAN, urged the courts to dismiss the objection, insisting that what was more important was that the defendants had been served with the charges. It is symbolic uh, freedom, you know, just like clockwork. It will uh, surely come uh, for those who suffer this kind of uh, deprivation. So I won't say more than that. And then the other one that I would like to say, second statement, make what you want to make of it. I think it was one of our political, you know, the founders of this country. I think it was uh, uh, Dr. Namdi Azikwe that said, uh, you know, short statement. So you can interpret it the way you like. Presiding judge, Justice Ijoma Ujuku, fixed Friday for the bail application hearing. And our